Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Founders Edition 30 series NVIDIA graphics cards to support Resizable Bar that just released today. And so here's the main page on NVIDIA's website. I'll have all this linked down in the description below. And as we start scrolling through here, there are some steps here laid out by NVIDIA. Uh, you know, we got to make sure we have a compatible CPU and CPU chipset. Uh, we have a compatible motherboard. We need to make sure our motherboard BIOS is up to date with the resizable bar support. We need to update our game ready drivers, as NVIDIA likes to call them. Um, and if you already have a 3060, then you don't need to run steps five through seven. Uh, I have a 3090 Founders Edition, so I am going to go ahead and upgrade that. One thing to note here, if you are on AMD, is NVIDIA is mentioning only the 5000 series CPUs supporting resizable bar, but recently AMD did allow support for the 3000 series. I have a 3950X, so we're going to try it on that. Now, as we keep scrolling through here, the different motherboard manufacturers here uh, I have an Asus so I'm good there and let's see let's keep going here here are the games that are supported as of today and it says right here for the V BIOS update right your video card here it says please read or please head to our knowledge base all right so I opened that up earlier here's their knowledge base article it mentioned some stuff about running the tool and how to notify or actually verify that resizable bar is supported. Um, and yep, right here, download the update for Founders Edition GPUs here. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna click download and this is what you would do. All right, so we have that downloaded. Now I'm gonna go check ASUS's website for a BIOS that supports this. Um, I have a cross here Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi. Um, every manufacturer is going to have its own website for BIOS updates. Um, I do not see any more beta BIOSes. Uh, do not install a beta BIOS. Uh, there's other issues that you have with beta BIOSes. Uh, most common is they don't support them and usually you can't fall back to a different BIOS without a flashback uh, button on the motherboard and USB port. But there are no more beta BIOSes here. So as we can see here in 3302, they supported smart access memory, which is another name for resizable bar. Uh, resizable bar is the actual PCIe protocol name and smart access memory is AMD's marketing term for it. So we're gonna go with the most latest one here. Uh, it actually fixes USB connectivity, right? Um, if you know about that issue, we'll see if that even works. All right, so I'm gonna click download, and there it is. It's a zip file now. I'm gonna to go to my downloads, and we're gonna unzip it, extract it. We're gonna to go to the same location, uh, open it up, and here's the BIOS renamer. You don't need to do this. It's only for the BIOS flashback tool, which is a USB port and button on the motherboard, but I like to rename it. Uh, you just double click on the EXE, press any key, and it renamed the file. All right, so now I'm gonna put this on my flash drive. And there we go. So now we are ready to start at least the BIOS update of the motherboard. Now it says you need to update your drivers. If you use GeForce Experience, this is one of the easiest ways to do it. You would click check for updates and then it would start downloading it. I already installed it a little bit ago and if we look at my nvidia control panel here and go to system information you will see i have the newest bios installed and resizable bar says no so right now we are trying to get it like the screenshot inside here actually that was in the their knowledge article wasn't it yep right here and it says yes for their oh, it looks like they have a 3080 here all right so first things first or actually, we already did the first thing. We updated our drivers. So next things next is to update the motherboard BIOS, and I'll show you how to do that on an ASUS motherboard. All right, here we go. All right, now we're in the BIOS. You can see up here that I'm running version 3204 right now. 
So in an ASUS UEFI BIOS, you'd go over to Tools. Uh, go ahead and save your profile. Give it a name here and just save to a certain number. And then save it to your USB drive. And right here, we're gonna say Control F2. And we're just gonna give it a name here. Uh, 3204 that was the bios version that it was on and there we go it saved it and now we need a dot cmo file which says f2 give it the same name oh wait it's 3204 whoops okay and there we go bios settings saved so if I come down here, I should see it right there. All right, so we'll escape. Yep, we wanna exit that. Now we can exit that and go to Easy Flash Utility 3. And we need to find our USB drive. And now we find the folder right there, 3401. And have it read the file. And it found the BIOS. Do you really want to update? Yes. And now we wait. All right, it's complete. We're going to reboot. And there it goes. All right, now the BIOS is updated. And now we need to go back into setup and apply the previous settings. Now the profile is usually saved in the system itself, but in my experience, loading it from here doesn't really work that well. So what I'm gonna do here is load it from a USB drive, come down to my settings, right here, say load it, say yes. All right, it loaded successfully, escape. And I'm gonna save to profile two, just like what it was before. And I'll just come in here and double check my dip. There's my RAM settings, my CPU right there. All right, so now that we've applied the settings, we need to go to resizable bar, which is up here at the top in an easily convenient space. And it's already on. So there we go, turn it on, come back and save it again. All right, so I'm gonna hit F10 and we're gonna boot into Windows. All right, update complete. All right, now we're ready to open up the NVIDIA resizable bar firmware updater 1.3. Because we're back into Windows, everything looks good. So let's open this. And here we go. It says this tool will detect whether a GPU firmware update is needed to support. All right, we're gonna press Y to continue. It says right here, update supported, will be applied, press Y. Here we go. And it says we need to restart the PC for it to take effect. Press any key to exit. And there we go. So now we're gonna reboot the computer and I will be right back. All right, I'm back from a reboot and to follow Nvidia's steps, we need to open up the Nvidia control panel and verify that resizable bar is enabled. So here's the Nvidia control panel. I click system information and resizable bar says yes now. Uh, earlier in the video, it said no. So following all these steps, we'll enable it for you. I hope you've enjoyed the video and have a great day and catch you in the next one.